hey, it's me. And I want to share with you kind of a workaround I have to do in order to get um, sorting and grouping playing nicely to each other. All right, so here I have a list of athletes. <clears throat> and these athletes, I want to be sorted alphabetically. I also want these athletes to be grouped by the type of college status that they have. I also want to make sure that I'm group or that the order or the sort of these college groupings is a particular order. So I want all NSR athletes to be first in the app and then display them alphabetically and so forth based upon their grouping. So Glide doesn't really have a way of doing this natively as part of the options of the inline list, right? We have grouping, so we have group, group by, but we don't have sort by. Um, then we have a sort and the sort will always look at the group. So if you're grouping by NSR status, it's gonna, when you, and you choose a sort like alphabetically, um, then, the, then you can't sort the grouping, right? The grouping will be sorted based upon whatever the sort here is. So you need to have some sort of combination of the two, right? Plus with sorting, you can't have multiple sorts. So I can't sort by the grouping and then sort alphabetically. I only get one thing to play with. So what ends up happening is you have to create this combination of, of columns in the data editor, which is not very user-friendly, but it's functional um, in order to make this happen. So here's the workaround that I had to do. So we have this column called NSR status, which is gonna have one of four things in it, but it could also technically be blank for anybody who was grandfathered in um, to the app and didn't go through the registration process. And so I can't group. So I, I mean, I want to group by those four things, but I can't group by this column because if it's blank, then anybody with this as the grouping don't doesn't show up in the inline list. So I need to create a first, I need to create a condition that if it's blank, put them into one of those groupings. In this case, I'm defaulting to one of the groupings that does exist in this column somewhere in here. Uh, maybe <laughs> somewhere in here, I probably have it somewhere. But anyway, 4.5% um, pool is one of the groupings that happens to be in this list. Fine. So now everybody has at least something to group by. Now I want to be able to uh, sort the grouping here. So anybody who is an NSR athlete should be listed first in the app, followed by uh, NSR pending, followed by this 4.5% pool, followed by uh, no colleges. And so I have to create that sort order here as an if then else. So what I do is I take a look at my status and I determine, okay, if it is in uh, this grouping, then give them the sort order of one, they should appear first. If the status is you know, pending, then I want them to be sec labeled second. If it's the 4.5% pool, then I want them to be listed third in the app and everybody else gets listed at the bottom of the app level four. Okay. Fine, all right, so now it takes a look at my grouping and gives them a sort order based on the group that they're in. The problem is, is that if I just leverage these two columns, Right. So if I go to list and let's clear my sort, I'm just going to do sheet order A to Z. Right. And if I group by, um, if I were to just, uh, group by my status here. Okay. Okay. We see that it, uh, it's grouping by that group name in alphabetical order. So the group is in alphabetical order. Okay. And my, people within the group are in just the sheet order. Right now it looks alphabetical, but that just that's just coincidence that I happen to sort my spreadsheet ahead of the time um, and make it alphabetical. You can see here that it's not alphabetical truly, right? Okay, so I want to sort or I want to group them, but I also need to add a sort. Now, when you add a sort and a grouping at the same time, the sort affects which group is sorted. So when I do sort here, I'm not truly sorting the list items. I'm sorting my grouping, which is a little confusing, but here, watch. So if I sort by, um, if I were to sort by my groupings, <clears throat> okay, now my groupings are in alphabetical order and everything inside of the group is just um, sheet order, All right. Okay, well, I don't want that. So I want to sort 
my groups by that sort that I defined. Okay, so I will choose my sort as the sort order. And if I do that, okay, so now my groupings are in the correct order. I have my NSR athlete on top. Okay, afterwards, if I get to it, my pending should be next because that was number two, good. My 4.5% pool is third, great. And everybody, everybody else is fourth. Okay, so my groupings work. But as you can see within my grouping, <laughs> um, it's not alphabetical order like I'd like. So the workaround to that is you have to create another column inside your sheet that combines your sort order, which was determined by the group, followed by however you want you want however you want the um, the list items to be grouped. In my case, it's their public name, their first initial, and their last name. So now, if I combine the sort order of the group and their alphabetical name. Now I can sort by this column, this template column here. And so now if I go to options and I will group by, or not group by, but I'll sort by that column, we see that it all uh, will be sorted as I want once my data loads here, it's a really big list. Um, yeah, so that should work now. All right, so yes, this should be a native feature, but it's not. But until then you actually have this workaround. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below.